Hello, everyone. We're going to go over examining product development. And so the overview, we went through research and planning, design, implement and test and release. And so the product has been launched. And so what now? Um, so we're going to be assessing and evaluating the product. So just a review. Um, it's going to be about experiments, surveys and tests. So A-B testing. Um, basically testing one criteria or the other, um, doing survey groups, um, you know, talking to different individuals and giving them surveys and getting feedback, usability tests, so people using your product and getting the metrics from that, um, multivariate testing, um, and, and analytics, right? And so kind of looking at um, numbers, uh, KPIs, et cetera. Um, and then also looking at success metrics. So KPIs are key performance indicators. And so these are metrics that are key to your product. Um, and they'll show if you're um, successful or not. And so these success metrics are metrics used to measure and define success. How to evaluate and assess products. And so to do that, we're gonna set objectives track progress, avoid overload of data, talk to customers and gather feedback and review and present findings. Um, setting objectives, so make sure KPIs are defined, um, ensure KPIs are relevant to specific business needs. Um, questions to consider when defining KPIs is like desired outcome, why does it matter, um, how to measure progress, um, basically metrics, um, taking a look at the metrics, how will you know the outcome is achieved? How often will progress be reviewed? And then make sure that your KPIs have a clear objective. And so that's something that you wanna do before diving deep into metrics and numbers, et cetera. Tracking progress. And so you wanna see the progress toward achieving KPIs is being made. Um, and you can do that by looking at your analytics make sure to check in as often as possible. So if not on track to achieve these KPIs, um, you can adjust as necessary. Gather quantitative data from relevant metrics. And so these are analytics um, which can provide data and this data can, can, is coming from like tracking these certain metrics. Um, avoid overloading of data. And so this is important when getting um, qualitative um, information and so make sure that you have the correct metrics and they're being tracked properly um, avoid tracking any unnecessary metrics so doing so can strain extra work um, this can divert precious time and energy away from others and more significant metrics um, it's better to get key insights than in deep data on everything so gathering feedback from customers this is really important um, this is all about qualitative data. And so before we were talking about quantitative and this is more qualitative is more, you know, um, feedback from the customer this is verbal feedback or written feedback. This is how the customer feels. And so to do that, you would conduct surveys and have these inbuilt surveys within your application or your product. Um, also calling the user and asking for feedback. You can also um, issue reporting and feedback system within your product. Monitoring media channels, that's another way, maybe uh, social medias like LinkedIn or YouTube, um, where your product is, is shown and customers are given feedback. Um, confirming these assumptions are made correct. And so you wanna go into, you know, if a lot of people are saying one thing about your product, it's probably true, right? And so just confirming those assumptions review and present findings. And so to do this, um, you wanna go through your data, find any patterns or trends, um, create presentation and slide deck to communicate findings, um, present findings to stakeholders, business partners, partners and teams. Use these findings to figure out which features to iterate on and which ones to scrap and then repeat the cycle. Um, and any questions from here, um, I know when I went through pretty briefly here, but if you have any questions, um, please ask them in our channel. Thank you.